testify of God's goodness and God's mercy. Amen. We're just so grateful. Amen. Because the scripture tells us greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. Amen. And we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Amen. We thank God for all of his blessings which he has bestowed upon us. Thank God for keeping us over the weekend. Thank God for having a uh, blessed, amen, uh, Easter Sunday, uh, Resurrection Sunday, amen, that we celebrate, amen, the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we thank God for Jesus, amen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only 
begotten Son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Amen. But I like the scripture where it says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Hmm? Amen. So we thank God for this evening. To those who are tuning in, amen. Praise God. We just thank God for the opportunity, amen, to proclaim the infallible word of God on social media. Amen. Amen. If there's ever time we need the word, we need uh, the word of God. Because we're living in perilous times, dangerous times. Amen. We need the word of God. And I will encourage those who are on the Lord's side, stay on the Lord's side. Amen. The saints of God used to sing a song, I'm on the Lord's side, and it makes me mighty glad. Amen. It didn't say sad or fighting mad, but it said it makes me mighty glad. Amen. I believe the scripture, one of the songs that said, amen, I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Praise God. And we just thank God. Amen. For all of his blessings. Amen. God is still in the healing business. God is still in the delivering uh, business. Amen. God is a way maker. Amen. Because he said in his word he would supply our needs according to his riches and glory. We just have to supply the faith. And if we will supply the faith, God will supply the healing. God will supply the deliverance. Amen. God will make a way out of no way because there's nothing too hard for the Lord. There's nothing impossible. Amen. With God, we just have to supply the faith. Amen. Praise God. Don't, don't allow the devil to talk you out your blessing. Amen. With doubt and fear and anxiety. Don't allow the enemy to creep in and cause you to, amen, uh, uh, miss your blessing with the Lord. And we just trust God, trust his word, trust his word, amen. And like I say, uh, we thank God for all of his blessings, which he has bestowed upon us. And sometimes people feel as though God is not moving today. Yes, God is moving today. And some say, well, he's not moving uh, like he did in the time of old back then. And I uh, sometimes I wonder about that because I believe if we were doing today what they did back then, I believe the Lord would still move in a miraculous way today. Amen. If we fast and we pray and really get into God's word, amen, praise God, amen, get into his word, amen, stay in his word, stay rooted and grounded in his word, amen. And I thank God for uh, the seasoned saints, amen. I thank God for folks who are seasoned in the word of God, amen. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get into the lesson tonight, but I thank God for seasoned saints, and most of the saints, seasoned saints, amen, praise God, are uh, uh, going on from labor to reward. And I say, amen, back in the day, amen, when I got saved, Amen. I know the word of God will hold us accountable. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? The word of God will hold us accountable, but seasoned saints will also hold you accountable because sometimes they would say if they knew that you was a, a newborn babe in Christ, they would ask, are you still holding on? <laughs> are you still holding on? Or, you know, are you are you, 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 are you still saved? That's what they were saying. Are you still saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost? We know it's just more than just being saved, but we have to have, some will say, the Spirit of God, but I was raised on the Holy Ghost. Amen. Somebody said, what's the difference between 25 cents and a quarter? But I was raised with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so, therefore, they were still, you know, uh, concerned Amen. About people testimony. They was concerned about your soul. Are you still holding on? Huh? Amen. Or some people. <laughs> amen. I saw somebody uh, at the store the other day. Amen. And, and, uh, and uh, I say uh, brother Buck Wild and sister out of control. Amen. Because sometimes, amen, with those people. Amen. Because they know they can't see God, but they could see the saints of God. And when those saints of God are no longer here to hold them accountable, you get Brother Buck Wild and Sister out of control. Huh? 
Amen. But I tell you what, God is sitting on the throne and God's word still hold us accountable. Amen. God's word still hold us accountable. Amen. That's what we're going to have to answer to. Amen. Is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, <clears throat> so we're going to go into the word of the Lord and off to start off with what does the Bible say about this or what does the Bible say about that? Amen. So tonight we're going to say what does the Bible say about pride? What does the Bible say about pride? Amen. Praise God. Thank God for those who are coming in. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It might be your first time. Amen. Tuning in to the real time gospel hour. So I will encourage you, amen, to get your Bibles, amen, and follow along because I like to give you a book, chapter, and verse, amen. You might have a pen and a notepad to write down some scriptures, amen, that will tie in, amen, uh, with the, the topic of the, of the, the, the subject matter on tonight, amen. In your uh, time of leisure, you may want to, amen, read over again, like the Bible says, search the scripture. You might want to dissect the scripture, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because there's no private interpretation of his word. Amen. Praise God. But we can't understand the word of God in a colonialistic mind. We have to be spiritual minded. Amen. To understand uh, the, the word of God. Amen. That's why sometimes the word of God doesn't make sense to people because they try to analyze it. Amen. In a colonialistic mind mind. You have to be spiritual minded. Amen. Amen. Spiritual minded, not fleshly minded, but spiritually minded. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So therefore, we're going to get into the word of the Lord. Amen. You might want to look at Proverbs. Amen. 8 and 13. But I want to give the definition of what pride means. <laughs> pride means proud or uh, uh, this uh, daneful behavior or treatment, haughty, conceited. You have heard people say that person just conceited, arrogant, amen, pretentious. Mm -hmm. That's just some of the uh, definitions, amen, some of the words that uh, connected to pride, amen. There is a difference between the kind of pride that God hates and so we look at uh, the scripture, I was saying, Proverbs 8 and 13. It said, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, mm -hmm. pride and arrogancy and the evil way mm -hmm. and a forward mouth. Do I hate? Maybe. This is what the Lord hate. Amen. A, a, forward, a, a perverse my perverse speech, mm -hmm. do I hate. This is what the Lord say. Amen. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Hmm? Amen. You hate evil. Amen. You love good, but you hate evil. Amen. And so many times when you see people, you're like, they're just so arrogant. You know, it kind of rubs some people the wrong way. They're just so arrogant and they're just so conceited. They stuck on themselves. Amen. They act like they high and mighty. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Amen. Have an arrogant spirit. I, you know, I just don't, they say, you know, you know, I just, uh, I know y'all have heard the saying, mm-hmm. Amen. I, I, I like, uh, I, I just don't like their ways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, I like the prayer, but I don't like their ways, but isn't there a ways that a part of that person, connected to that person? I just don't like their ways. I, I like them, but they, they got some evil ways. They got some ways that are, are not becoming. Got some evil ways and a, a perverse mouth. Amen. Amen. Things that come out of their mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do I hate? Amen. And the kind of pride uh, we can feel a, uh, uh, feel uh, uh, good about, amen, I will say uh, a good job done, a job well done, I will say, uh, the kind of pride we can feel about a job well done, uh, at the scripture, when we look at, uh, I guess, Galatians, Galatians 6 and 4, but it said, let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone 
and not in another. Amen. Stop looking at other folk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. I know sometimes this goes really heavy in the churches. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it, it gets me when folks say, at my church. Well, the church don't belong to you. Hello, somebody. <laughs> the church don't belong to you. Amen. The church belongs to God. Hmm? Amen. I, I know you may pay the bills. I, I know you may pay the lights and the mortgage. I know you may be, you know, paying the insurance and this is my church, but it ain't yours. It belongs to the Lord. Now, you might say that in some sense that structure of the building uh, belong to you, but the church belong to God because I believe the scripture said in Matthew, upon this rock I build my church and the very gates of hell should not prevail against it. Hmm? Amen. So sometimes uh, as preachers, amen, and others, amen, don't look what other folks are doing or looking at their work, amen, and measure yourself up to them, amen. Some of us may have a few members, some of us may have a lot, but thank God for well, who God sent your way, amen, and minister to those, amen, that you are ministering to the sheep that God have sent you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And God will reward you for your faithfulness. God will reward you for your faithfulness. Amen. Praise God. We talking about the kind of pride we can feel about. Amen. A good job or a job well done. Hmm? Amen. And so many times, amen, when we talking about pride, it's not always a bad pride because some people say, well, I take, I take pride in my work, you know, how I do my job. I take pride, you know, in my work, and I take uh, pride, you know, uh, in, you know, uh, how I carry myself, you know, uh, uh, some people say you have to have some get up about yourself, and amen, and so therefore, when people, you know, dress nicely, amen, and concerned, you know, some folks, that person just conceded, no, you just don't want to come out the house looking any kind of way you want to have your hair tight and, and dress nice. And amen. You take pride in the way you look. Amen. How you present yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. I remember, amen, my, my late aunt and uncle. Amen. I, I stayed with them and they uh, uh, helped me. I went and purchased a vehicle and and, and they thing was, well, you work hard, you work hard, Junior. That's what he would call me. Junior, you work hard, and, and working hard, you need to keep that car clean. Amen. You need to take pride in keeping that car clean. And so I kept that car clean to the point it's so funny. Cause he's like, you going to wash on that thing till you rub the paint off of it. Amen. We're just taking pride because they say you work too hard to be riding around here in a dirty vehicle. Let it be clean. Have it clean. Amen. And so many times, amen, if we take pride in our soul, <laughs> like we do things, amen, we want to polish it, amen, we want the wheels clean, we want the, the air fresh, we want the new car fresh scent and everything else, amen, have it fresh on the outside, but some vehicles are filthy on the inside. Just like some people, you might be clean on the outside, but you're filthy on the inside. Hmm? Come on, talk to me, somebody. So, therefore, amen, I always say when we allow the Lord to come in, amen, praise God, and clean us up from the inside, amen, it's going to manifest itself on the outside. Well, let me move on. Let me move on. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. He will clean you, clean you up. I think Bishop Hezekiah Walker said, won't he make you clean <laughs> inside? Amen. He didn't say it outside. Amen. But he said, won't he make you clean inside? And God will uh, do just that. Amen. Praise God. All the kind of pride we express over the accomplishment of loved ones. Mm -hmm. When people, uh, I think if you look in the scripture of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 7 and 4, mm -hmm. great is my boldness of speech. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Uh, great is my glory of you. I am filled, filled with comfort. I am exceeding uh, joyful in all our 
uh, tribulation. And so, that's so uh, therefore, you know, even with our children or something, uh, other people, somebody might get a promotion on the job. You just, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just so proud of you. And those who have children that go off and go to school or, uh, just, just matter of fact, leave the house, period, <laughs> and we try to come independent, amen. You say, I'm just so proud of you that you're trying to be, mm -hmm, I know I'm talking to somebody, be independent, being independent but, uh, uh, outside of you, that you can take care of yourself, that you have your own spot. You don't have to have no uh, three or four bedroom house, amen, but you just have a, a one room apartment or a trailer, wherever you may uh, be staying, but you're proud that they're able to get out on their own and provide for themselves. Am I'm talking to somebody. I know I am. I know I am. So you, I'm just so proud of my daughter. I'm so proud of my son. Uh, you know, they went to school. They graduated. You know, it is a major accomplishment these days if a person graduate high school. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And if they dropped out of school, try to get their GED or some try to get some type of trade. Amen. It is a major accomplishment because why? Because so many people drop out of school and some people have dropped. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to hit a, I don't know, throw a curve right here. Some folks done dropped out of Sunday school. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, can you get a GED in Sunday school? <laughs> Don't drop, don't drop, slap, <laughs> just slap out of Sunday school. Amen. Pray. Don't know what Sunday school is. <laughs> Amen. But we, what I'm talking about, we're just so proud and elated. Amen. When people, amen, do things. Amen. I'm just so proud. Amen. The, the, uh, that, that child, amen, that boy, that girl went to college and made something out of themselves. Uh, that boy, that girl went into the military and have made something out of themselves. And so, therefore, you have parents and you have grandparents and family members stick their chest out. Why? Because they are proud of the accomplishment. And you know, it's nothing wrong to glory, amen, praise God, and be uh, grateful, amen, and thankful, and amen, appreciate other people, amen. So many times, amen, we want people to appreciate us, but do you ever appreciate other people? Hmm? Do you ever appreciate other people? Because the scripture said, rejoice with them that do rejoice. Amen. Don't be envious. Don't be jealous, because that ain't going to get you nowhere, huh? Amen. I know the Bible says weep with them that do weep, but rejoice with them that do rejoice. We don't mind crying with you. <laughs> we don't mind snotting and crying and things like that. Amen. But when it comes down to rejoicing, amen, if God bless somebody with something, amen, it could be a, a new uh, job or career, or making pretty good money. Sometimes it's probably best to keep that stuff to yourself because people start tripping. <laughs> People start tripping. That's when they start. It's not you. It's them. Yeah. Now she thinks she's something. Now he think he's something. Think he missed the big stuff. Who do you think you are? Oh, yeah. Who big? <laughs> who you think? Amen. It's not you with that mindset. It's the individual. They man, praise God. When you start to tell some things, you need to keep to yourself. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Some things, you, amen, you might want to tell the blessings of the Lord, amen, amen, praise the name of the Lord and what God is doing for you, but it's not going to always be well received, hmm, amen, quit tripping, don't be, amen, amen, praise God, amen, not going to be always well received, amen, praise the name of the Lord, amen, the kind, amen, the kind of pride that stems from self-righteousness or conceit is sin. Hmm? Yes, it is. However, amen, and God hates it because it is a hindrance uh -huh, to seeking him. Hmm? Pride keeps, now listen to this, pride keeps many people from accepting Christ for their personal Savior. Pride is an enemy to God. Hmm? Because some folks feel, I don't need him. Well, what you talking about, preacher? Amen. You still have your Bibles open? Mm-hmm. Amen. Psalms 10 and 4. Psalms 10 and 4 says, The wicked through 
the pride of his uh, countenance will not seek after God. God is not all in his thoughts. Hmm? Amen. What that scripture is saying. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I just got you saying many people, praise God, many people because of their pride. <laughs> will not allow them to accept God because some people feel God don't even exist. Amen. And the scripture say the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. That's a fool. Hmm? I didn't call you a fool. The scripture said you're a fool. Amen. The fool has said there's no God. Amen. He has said it in his heart. There is no God. Huh? Amen. So what Psalms 10 and 4 explain to us that the proud are so consumed with themselves that their thoughts are far from God. Their thoughts are far from God. Hmm? Amen. In his pride, the wicked does not seek him. You know, they're not seeking God. Amen. They taking matters into their own hands. They're doing their own thing. Amen. Because they don't want to acknowledge God. They don't want to recognize God. Amen. Praise God. They didn't, I think as they said in the book of uh, uh uh, Romans, amen, praise God. Amen. They didn't even want to retain God in their knowledge. Hmm? I think it's Romans, the first chapter, I believe. <clears throat> amen. First chapter, go down to the 28th uh, verse, I believe. It's somewhere in there. Amen. They, 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 praise God. They didn't want to acknowledge God. Folks don't want to acknowledge God. And many things happen today. You know, many things happen today. And people, oh, well, you know, it's, it's oh, Mother Nature, all these tornadoes and things, stuff like that. Mother Nature, no, it's Father God. <laughs> it's Father God. All these things that are happening, amen, right around us and all over the world, amen, it's God. Amen. And folks don't want to say it's God that's doing this. Amen. And God has spared many people's lives, but so many times we don't want to give God the credit. Amen. We don't want to credit God for the things that he does for us. Mm -hmm. So in his pride, the wicked does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. This kind of haughty spirit, a haughty pride, is the opposite of the spirit of humility. Amen. The, the opposite of the spirit of humility that God seeks. And so when we look at, uh, I think, Matthew 5 and 3, Matthew uh, 5 and 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The poor in spirit are those who recognize, listen, those who recognize their utter spiritual uh, bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. And their inability to come to God aside from his divine grace. Amen. The proud, on the other hand, are so blind by their pride mm -hmm, that they think they have no need of God or worse, that God should accept them as they are because they deserve to his acceptance. Hmm? Amen. You know, some people got that, you know, old dad to do. You know, remember when you was in school, and I'm quite sure y'all had classmates, you know, we had a project to turn in, or, you know, in six weeks, or how many weeks, amen, and this is going to, uh, you know, uh, be a big portion of your grade, and how some people put time and effort, amen, <laughs> as we came up, we had some uh, uh, encyclopedias, I think might, they might still have encyclopedias, you didn't have no Google and all this old web, you know, uh, stuff that you can uh, surf the web and all this stuff, I'm still trying to learn a whole lot of stuff, surf the web and all this, amen, you had to get your nose in the book, you, you had to go to the library, you had to study, amen, and put that effort and that time in, Amen. But you have so many people, so many people. This is how they treat God. I'm just going to approach him any kind of way. Did that or do this, that, you know, that, what that data do attitude. And so therefore, the ones who waited the last minute, knowing the project need to be turned in on Monday morning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Wouldn't put the time in to try to wait till the last minute in Sunday night and then get to school on Monday thinking they're going to get a good grade, amen, but they didn't put no effort, no time in it, but they thought the teacher would just accept whatever they give. 
And so many times people are arrogant and pride like that. Just like that, well, you know, I'm going to do this, you know, I, I'm going to give God, you know, uh, <laughs> my leftovers. I'm going to give God <laughs> my stale praise, my stale worship. I'm not going to give God my time, and I'm not going to give him my undivided attention, amen, so he'll just accept anything. No, he said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. Hmm? Amen. He just ain't gonna accept in and everything, you know. I mean, you know. I mean, oh, you know. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Look at Cain and Abel. Y'all can look at that. You know. I mean, Amen. We know that Abel gave a sacrifice. It was a living sacrifice that he offered unto the Lord. And Cain, uh, his was unacceptable. And sometimes it could be because of his attitude. Hmm? Oh, y'all ain't said because of his attitude. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's why the Lord, <laughs> thank the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's why the Lord said he loved a cheerful giver. Hmm? He loved a cheerful giver. Amen. Praise God. Not, not, not grudgingly. <laughs> not all upset, you know. Amen. Praise God. People spend plenty of money on what they like to do. They don't. Amen. Praise God. They spend hundreds of dollars. Amen. Praise God. But when it comes down to the church, I think the only place, amen, that, uh, amen, what uh, 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 is accepted in, in the offering is the dollar. Amen. Amen. That's the only place the uh, uh, the dollar lands, and sometimes you get pocket change. That's how that's how much some people think about God. Amen. But we give the best of our service, the best of our finances to the devil, but we treat our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ any kind of way. So we just can't come to Him uh, any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't come to Him. Amen. With an arrogant spirit. You know, I believe the Bible said, praise God, amen, God resisted the proud, but he gave grace to the humble. We have to humble ourselves, amen. We, we got to humble ourselves before uh, the mighty hand of God, amen. Through our scripture, we are told about, amen, the consequences of pride, amen. We, through our scripture, we are told about the consequences of pride, amen. Proverbs 16 and 18 says, pride goeth before destruction. Mm -hmm. Pride goeth before destruction. Mm -hmm. Amen. We always said, amen, warning. We always say, warning come before destruction. Amen. If you stay on the path, amen, amen, you on a dead end road. You, you, you going nowhere fast, nowhere fast. Amen. But pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Amen. A person definitely going to fall. <laughs> and you going to fail. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. You go, you, that's what the scripture says. Amen. So, therefore, if the scripture said there's so many people would try to make the word of God out of a lie. Hmm? Amen. Try to work, make the word of God out of a lie. But if the word said it's going to happen, it's going to happen if you have that type of spirit. Amen. Pride goeth before destruction and a halt your spirit before a fall. Amen. Proverbs 16 and 19 says, Better it is to be of a what humble spirit with lowliness than to divide the spoil with the proud. Mm -hmm. Amen. With the proud. What you talking about, Henderson? Well, uh, just saying here in the scripture. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share, amen, uh, plunder with uh, the proud. What you talking about? Proud. Amen. Amen. Uh, I believe uh, valuable, valuable, it's a valuable stolen or taken by force. Mm -hmm. That's what it's talking about. Amen. Praise God. When we do that, and so also it says uh, when we look at, uh, I think, Isaiah, if you look at Isaiah 14, amen, and, 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 and 12, 14 and 12, it talks about uh, Satan was cast out of heaven because of pride. Mm -hmm. I, I told you I had to keep your Bibles open, amen. Isaiah 14 and 12, it says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Oh, Lucifer. I didn't say Lucius. <laughs> I didn't say Lucas. <laughs> I didn't say Luther. I said, <laughs> man, Lucifer. 
Amen. That's another name for Satan. Hmm? Amen. That's another name for Satan. How thou uh, fallest from heaven, mm -hmm. O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did awaken the nation? For thou hast said in thy heart, listen here, mm -hmm. for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. This is what he said in his heart, Lucifer. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt myself above the stars of God. Amen. He's elevating himself. <laughs> Ain't that what it said? Amen. Some folks is elevating themselves. Amen. Oh, amen, making themselves this and making themselves that. Amen. When the Bible says you ain't doing nothing but deceiving yourself. Hmm? Amen. Praise God. If if in the in in the body of Christ, I will say, if there's any promotion that's gonna be given, it's gonna be given by God. Oh y'all. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. We we cry if we're not elevated to a certain position. But if the elevation is going to come, it's going to come from God. But keep a humble spirit. Huh? Hey, man, humbleness is the way. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will hey, what? exalt you in due time. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. I got a fax here. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. If you humble yourself, Humble yourself. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Humble yourself. God will lift you up. Amen. He will exalt you in due time. Hmm? Amen. He said that I, uh, I will exalt uh, my, my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Hmm? This is what Satan is saying. Oh, Satan is talking a lot of stuff. <laughs> Amen. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Who is the most high? He's talking about God. I will be like the most high. Hmm? Amen. Didn't uh, uh, Adam and Eve allow pride to come in when they allowed the, the enemy, the devil, the serpent, deceived Eve, and, and, and when God gave the command to Adam, told him that, amen, they had access to any uh, tree in the garden except for the one for good and evil, amen, praise God, that they had to stay away from the, the knowledge of good and evil, amen, y'all know the story, but what happened, amen, the, the serpent deceived Eve by talking to her, hmm? yes, he did, Amen, amen. He said, no, the Lord said we ain't supposed to, we not supposed to eat this. He said, oh, uh, surely, surely not. Hmm? He, he tripped up with that word, now, surely not. And, amen, and if you do so, amen, your eyes going to be open. Yes, he, now, the, he said something now. Their eyes will open. And then it said that you will become like God. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Amen. So here he said, I will be like the most high. He's talking about God. He want to be like God. <laughs> they used to have a song, a commercial, like Mike. I want to be like Mike was Satan, amen, ever since, amen, amen. And one thing we can say, he's the God of the world. He is the prince of the prince of the app, what the scripture said. I'm telling you what the scripture said, amen. He's the prince of the app, mm-hmm. And uh, Isaiah 14 and 15 said, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Hmm? Amen. He has had the selfish audacity to, to, to attempt to replace God himself as the rightful ruler of the universe. But like I read the scripture, but Satan will be cast down to hell in the final judgment of God for those who rise up in defiance against God. There is nothing ahead but disaster. Hmm? Amen. But disaster. So if you read, I think you stay in Isaiah 14 and 22. He said, for I will rise up against them, said the Lord of hosts. And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Oh, that's what the scripture said. 
Pride has kept many people from accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Admitting sin and acknowledging that in our own strength, we can do nothing to inherit eternal life is a constant stumbling block for prideful people. Hmm? There's no other way except through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. We are not to boast about ourselves. Boast bragging. <laughs> Some folks brag about what they do. Quit praising yourself. Let other folks praise you. I think that's what the scripture said. Amen. You, 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 you praising yourself. <laughs> Amen. Pray. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Amen. Don't be boasting about what you do. Boast about what God has done or has done. Hmm? Amen. It's not about you. It's about God. So we are not to boast about ourselves. We want to boast. Then we are to proclaim the glories of God. Mm-hmm. What you talking about, Henderson? Well, when I look in the scripture, I think 2 Corinthians 10 and 18 said, For not he that commended himself is approved, but whom the Lord commended. I mean, whom the Lord praised, in other words. Hmm? Amen. Whom the Lord praised. Amen. Amen. That was something, amen, what about Job. Job didn't go around talking about, but, but the Lord saw something in Job that he told Satan. He said, have you considered my servant Job? That let me know that God, uh, amen, really saw something and really admired Job on, on his standing, how he, uh, amen, prayer, how he conducted himself. For the Lord to tell Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Hmm? Amen. Praise God. So therefore, we see about ourselves means nothing in God's work. It is what God says about us that makes the difference. What God, how does God see you? How, do, how does God see me? Huh? It's not well, how what we try to see in other people, but it's how God sees us. Amen. And, and Jesus always said, I want to do that which is pleasing in my father's sight, amen. And so therefore, amen, what well, we going to, amen, we're going to mind the things of God. We're going to mind uh, the things of God, his word, amen. And, and we're going to love and we're going to, amen, pray, be, be gentle, kind, uh, all the attributes of all the characteristics of the fruits of the spirit, amen. Praise God, amen, amen. And so therefore, are we pleasing God, are we plea are we living up to the billing? Are we living up to uh Christianity? Are we living up for sanct uh, for sanctification and for righteousness? Amen. Only you can answer that question, huh? Amen. Because when you look in the mirror, only person you see is yourself. Amen. When I look in my mirror, I don't see amen other folks, I see myself. Amen. Praise God. And what you don't like, that's what you have to pray to God. That's what you, when you look in the mirror, you see some things out of order. You try to straighten it up. Hmm? Amen. Praise God. Amen. You put your shirt on backwards. Amen. You stand in the mirror looking at yourself and you go outside. <laughs> amen. What about There's something wrong with that picture. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So when we read the word of God, the word of God will show us or show you for who you are and it'll show me for who I am. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So therefore, we pray to God and God will do the change if we want to change. But don't have a proper thing about yourself thinking there's nothing wrong with you when it may be something wrong. Hmm? Amen. Praise God. We have, Amen. Search me, Lord. Don't even, you can find anything that shouldn't be. Take it out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I got to be whole. Hmm? Amen. Why is pride so sinful? Pride is giving ourselves the credit for something that God has accomplished. Hmm? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We can't do nothing without the Lord. Huh? Amen. Without, without God, we can't do nothing. Without God, we can't do nothing. Hmm? Amen. Praise God. Pride is taking the glory that belongs to to God alone and keeping it for ourselves. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Amen. I remember when I was working, amen, work on a project and stuff like that. You know, uh, the, the manager over that time who was over me, one thing I liked about her, she would like, you know, if, if I did a, a project, an end cap, a stack base or whatever, and, and then the, the, the store director came by who did this, she said, oh, no, I, I can't take the credit for that. 
he did that. And oftentimes, because if we work in a department, you want to work as a team. And sometimes, amen, you don't always have team members that pull their load. But oftentimes, whenever I say, oh, it was a collective effort, we, you know, uh, you know, wasn't trying to take all the credit, but we did this together. She was like, oh, no, 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 you didn't. No, well, we, we worked together. Amen. And so many times, amen, we have to lift up and we have to encourage others. Amen. We have to lift them up and encourage others. Amen. But there are some people, oh, bless the Lord. Amen. They be gold breaking. Amen. Just trying to get by on the backs of other people. Amen. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Amen. I'm going to say this most of the time in jobs. Amen. And I know I've experienced this for working for a long time. Sometimes I even train my boss. <laughs> even trained my boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes people get so prideful, you all, in these, on these jobs, amen, once they used to eat lunch with you and, and talk to you and, and all like that. I never hung out with folks, amen, outside of the job. Now, when I first moved to Davidosis in 90, I would go fishing and things with some of the co-workers. I like to fish. You know, when my dad, you know, uh, didn't have time to go, so most time we would go fishing, but just sitting there talking about what's going on on the job and this and that. No, I didn't do that. But so many times when people get blessed with positions, they no longer want to talk to you. And sometimes that happens in the church. Some folks don't want to hear that. Sometimes, sometimes that happens in the body of Christ. If people get elevated to a bishop or to whatever, amen, when they were just a little elder superintendent, don't let them jump to assist, <laughs> administrative assistant. Amen. You really got something. Amen. I'm somebody now. <laughs> I'm somebody now, amen. I, I say that because sometimes, amen, in these churches now, praise God, amen, amen. If you just a pastor or an elder, no, I got to have a superintendent coming up here and preaching. I got to have somebody of a high stature, amen, praise the name of the Lord, amen. Because why? Because sometimes, like myself, I'm not a domesticated preacher. I'm not a tame preacher. So what God tells me to say, I'm going to say it. So therefore, you're not going to really get too many the engagement. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I know I'm talking to somebody. When you stand on the word of God, amen, they want you. And I, I was coming up, amen, as a young preacher, amen, and preaching the way I was preaching because of the teachers I came up under. Some of them, you need to go to seminary school. You need to go to theology school. And what they're trying to tell me, you need to be tamed. <laughs> Uh, but you can't tame me. No, you, you can't. Amen. I'm going to do what the Lord say do, and I'm going to speak what the Lord say speak. Hmm? Amen. The only way that's going to happen when the Lord shut my mouth. Amen. When my eyes is closed and my mouth is shut. And y'all, amen, those who do come, walk and stand and just shake their head. Mm, he going on the glory. Amen. So therefore, I'm going to still preach the word of God. That don't hurt my feelings one iota. Because I'm going to preach the word of God. Amen. Praise God. So preachers, teachers, whomever you may be, praise God. Stay in God's word. Amen. You can't, amen. Praise God. You can't water down the word of God. Amen. Preach and teach the word of God. It's hard to shake. Amen. Shake me on what I believe and what been instilled in me. Hmm? Amen. We got to stand on the word of God. Amen. So I'm just saying sometimes when people get elevated in the body of Christ, they get prideful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look like the higher up they go, the higher up they go, the humble they should become. Hmm? <laughs> Amen. The humble they should become. But sometimes they get arrogant. Amen. Walk past you, won't say nothing, won't talk to you, won't speak to you. Amen. I know I'm on somebody's block, but that's all right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Maybe you have experienced it. If not, keep living. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about even in the workplace, people will do that. Amen. Start treating you differently because of a title. Pride. <laughs> Get arrogant. <laughs> Get arrogant. Yes, they do. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So therefore, pride is essentially self-worship. Hmm? Anything we accomplish in this world would not have been possible were if it not was if it wasn't for God. Whatever we do, amen. Whatever we do, if it had not been for God, who God, who what? He enables us. Amen. He enables us to do some things. He's sustaining us. 
Amen. God is. God is. So I believe I'm coming to an end of this lesson. Amen. To the end of the lesson. And I believe it says in 1 Corinthians 4 and 7, for who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why doest thy glory? As if thou didst not receive it. Amen. 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. Hmm? And so what it's saying here, what, what it says, what do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? That is why we give God the glory. He alone deserve it. Hmm? He alone deserve it. Amen. Praise God. What does the Bible say about uh, pride. Amen. I'm going to leave this one scripture with you. You might want to write it down. Proverbs 6 and 17. Amen. Amen. See, uh, uh, six things that the Lord hate, but seven is an abomination. And this is one of them in Proverbs 6 and 17. A proud look. A proud look is one of the six deadly sins. Amen. When you have time to look it up. Amen. In the scripture. Amen. That's what it says. Amen. And I believe also, uh, if you look at Proverbs 11 and 2, amen, pride brings shame. Pride brings uh, shame. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. Hmm? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we thank God for, amen, the, the teaching on tonight. I pray, amen, there was something said to encourage somebody try to encourage somebody through the word amen but it just uh this been sticking with me that what does the bible say about this and what does the bible say about that and we have amen our textbook amen our textbook amen is uh the word of god whatever we want to know forever whatever question we have there's an answer in god's word amen so Amen. I've been asked to uh, play a song that I played, I believe, last Thursday night. Amen. What about you? Amen. And that song comes from uh, those who uh, look at folks crossways in the song. I would say, really, God gave me the song out of, uh, I believe, the book of John. Amen. The eighth chapter. When it talk about the woman that was caught in the very act of adultery. Amen. And he brought, uh, the Pharisees, the scribes, brought the woman to Jesus and Amen. Now, they always say, be careful how you throw stones. Amen. Don't throw stones and hide your hand. Amen. And I often say, amen. Amen. The scripture says, for we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And I often say, we all have skeletons in our closet. Amen. I would say, if you open up the closet, a whole lot of bones will fall out. And I often say that on them bones, there might be still some meat on them bones. <laughs> Might not have been too long ago. Amen. Since you uh, done what it, whatever you did, but God is a forgiving God. So as we uh, prepare to, uh, amen, I would say dismiss the service, amen. Praise God. If it's the Lord's will, we will see you. If it's the Lord's will on Thursday uh, night, uh, continue to pray for us. And we will continue to pray for you. Amen. Praise God. We pray God's blessing upon you. Amen. Pray that you have a blessed uh, week. Amen. Praise God. Continue to pray. Amen. For the people in Ukraine. Amen. Pray for people all over the world. Amen. Praise God. If my people who are called by my name, those scriptures say, will humble themselves. Amen. And pray and seek God's face and turn from their wicked ways. You know, that he will forgive us and he will heal the land. Amen. We have to pray, church. We have to continue to pray. That's how, amen, amen. That's how we communicate with God. So, amen. After the song is over, praise God. May God bless you and money. May God keep you in our prayer. The song said, what about you? You know, there's some people have fallen short of the glory of God. And we all have one time of another, but thank God that he forgive us of our sins and of our transgressions. The song said, what about you?
sometimes we have to examine ourselves. What about you? What about you? What about you? Listen. Jesus went to the temple all the way to sit down and teach God's word. But the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman to him. It was called in the dead trees. They said to Jesus, Moses, Moses, stole her for the wrong she's done. that song amen what about you so if it's the lord's will amen praise god we will see you at the next point of time amen god bless you and god keep you amen as our prayer amen be blessed